What's the world fucking come to? You know, let's be real, right? What's the world fucking come to? I can't even rationalize it. If you ever want to wonder why it fucking irritates me, just listen to There is a guy telling someone in the game that had an emergency to look after his baby that he should drown his baby and finger his baby, right? And rather than just ban their accounts on the spot, they're asking them to submit a ticket, which we all know as Gears fans, the tickets don't get looked at, right? But if I tell TC Shawnee, hi, I'm not sure why I'm banned from the game you've never told me. This is my gamer tag that's currently able to play online. I don't know if that's allowed or not. I don't want to break your rules. Let's have a conversation on the spot. It's insta banned. Any account I'll ever make is insta banned when they find out it's me. So they have the technology to boom, insta ban some, but they allow people to type the N word in chat. They allow people to tell people to sexually assault a fucking baby. I think her name was like Mysteria or something. Apologies to the woman if I forget her name. There was a quote where some guys in chat were saying, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to drag your body around the streets and me and my three mates are going to have our way with you. Yes heinous shit like that goes on nothing fucking gets done about it why are you even allowed to type the n-word in the game does that make any sense to anybody that should just be you try to type that word you're banned you're blocked you're banned boom but they would rather waste their fucking time finding me and banning me that's where the frustration comes from i don't want to play the game but like what even is that you know they, they seemingly don't care do they if you send in a ticket TC Kilo will respond and say, hey, mate, sure, um, I can't play the game. Send us on some information. The second I send in some information, blocked, ignored, no response, no response, no response. So there's a policy that ban me on site, ban me on site, but give him no information. But if somebody tells somebody to fucking finger and drown a baby, oh, can you send in a ticket that we're probably not even going to look at? Hey, well, just whilst we're on this, I was editing the video and I was I noticed I was talking about tickets and I was like, let's have a look at the Trello board. I wonder if the Trello board... Now, I got a load of shit about the Trello board because when it came out, I made that joke going, just pop it on the Trello board. Just pop it on the Trello board. It'll fix everything. And people were like, you need to be more positive, mate we're all going to do a community effort and we're going to pool and we're going to get everything on the Trello board and it's going to be fixed. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020. There's a map exploit on the 1st of September 2020 where you can get out of the map apparently and it's known, but it's not been fixed. This January, November 2020, 2020, August 2020. This card was known that a card didn't work in September. It's just known. It's not been fixed. Let's have a look at some of the fixes. January. January. November 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. Oh, oh, here's a known bug. Um, On the 10th of March, Captain Hoffman has Marcus's voice lines. Now, this has been fixed and unfixed like 10 times, but it's, it's still coming in a future patch. Still coming in a future patch. That Oh, better not speak about horde bosses. Might get myself suspended again. Better not make that joke. This here, this is Gears of War in a nutshell. Loads of fucking systems, loads of ideas, game modes that get made, but never fully fucking fleshed out and finished. And they wonder why the franchise is up shit's creek. But I tell you, the best thing to come out of Gears of War since probably Gears of War 2 is Gears Tactics, I'm telling you, mate. It's just ridiculous, isn't it, man? It's, it's... Uh, there was a girl that was sexually harassed by four Gears pros, right? For for quite a length of time until she felt that she had to end a stream because it was just getting too much. There was a lot of people replying, women as well, were replying saying, it's just banter. It's just banter. It's, it's not in real life. It's not harassment because it's not in real life. Um... You know, just, just turn the game off, block them, get over it. All of those people are basically shunning the suspension of people that have actually harassed somebody so much that they felt the need to turn their stream off. But I get labelled with harassment when I literally haven't done anything. I could sit here into the early hours of the morning, I could document all the hypocrisy. But frankly, the evidence is out there now. It's personal they just simply don't like me they can't give a fucking valid reason for it and 
bit by bit people are leaving we've got twitch partners leaving really not happy about the matchmaking it's either i'm getting stomped or i'm doing the stomping really not enjoying it tc member rolls in well that's pretty much every multiplayer game ever and he's like whoa i'm sorry it wasn't a criticism i was no it was a criticism razor edge it was a criticism and it was a valid one back it up get a spine and say yeah it it was a criticism it pissed me off are you ever going to fix your matchmaking because it's fucking ruining the game but no he said I'm, oh it wasn't a criticism it wasn't a critic yeah it was and it was valid pete it was a valid criticism in the following few days he'll, he'll say something like oh man this this locust sniper skin sure does look good and i'm just like oh just fucking give over mate what I, gears of war is such a toxic game it's one of the main reasons people don't play it and and i'm like no like your matchmaking is one of the reasons people don't play it amongst other stuff like there are very very toxic games out there they still have huge player bases there's a reason gears of war doesn't have a huge player base and it's because of a whole multitude of problems which seemingly we can't raise in the community without being fucking suspended that's where i get frustrated look i'm not getting frustrated at pete i'm not getting frustrated at whoever right they can do whatever they want right but you've got to you've got to see that you've got to see where i'm coming from right still sticking to my guns i'm not posting gears i'm not talking about gears i'm not playing gears it's all shut down it's all shut down because i personally have no respect for what they did i know people that have quit the game because of the way i was treated i know people have quit the game because of the state of the game i know people that used to love grinding the elo system and the score per minute system and would play every single day and now simply don't play because it's just a boring ladder system proverbial resignation which was already handed in is just getting fully sealed and locked because tell you what let's let's go on a roll let's go on a roll right here we go what is the top post um let's say this month for the whole of the gears of war subreddit what have i been missing out um here's a post talking about gears one <laughs> that's funny isn't it one of the top posts is promoting gears one um here's another one saying that the ranking system's dog shit um Here's another one saying that PvP players are stupid. Um, here's a Gears of War 1 post. Here's a cool cosplay. So, but ironically, it's a lot of Gears of War 1 and it is an old game. There's not fucking much positive, is there? Let's put it that way, you know? All right, let's go on to the Gears of War forums. Don't worry, I'll try not to harass anybody with my detailed explanation post that everybody liked. I'll try not to do that. Let's have a look at the top posts of this month again um good players are dominating skills and shove it up the trench us casual versus players and pve players need a chance hashtag justice for bad players that is the best post in a month well i sh i fucking great effort tc you've definitely cleaned up the forums because only the fucking smooth brain slugs are left it seems like that, he didn't even word it like, I wish there was better skill-based matchmaking or a working ELO system so I can play people against my own skill. His brain just went, uh, I'm really bad. What Justice for bad players. Do you watch pro play online just so you can get skins? I don't fucking care about the gameplay. This is the kind of mani media manipulation that should be stomped out. So basically, the top two posts are, I fucking hate the way I have to watch esports to get any content um good players are doing too well can i make people shit and everyone at tc def at this point i'm legitimately concerned at everyone's well-being i mean this guy he's 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 actually calling the coalition deaf right a straight call out calling them deaf right and he's still posting and allowed to play the game but me that actually wrote detailed fucking posts and desperately tried to help the game. Hold on, let me just do it as a laugh, guys. I got labelled as a fucking harasser and getting loads of likes and, and big topics for discussing key issues. But, but that's the top post this month is some guy saying, are you fucking deaf, TC? Now do you understand why it got me so fucking irate? 
because of the sheer hypocrisy of this place. Now, what's this? People on the better console are beating me. It's it's not a PC OP. Now it's Series X OP. Let me guess. We should be able to separate them into different playlists. There are no there are no fucking players, mate. PC, can you turn crossplay off so I've got even less players to play against? To rephrase the Twitter account that the Gears of War developer liked when there was no information or nothing going on and people were getting fired and people were losing their jobs. That, I clicked her account and saw a liked picture of a skunk. And I Insta retweeted and put the caption, oh look, there's been some action. Here we go. This is the new Horde boss. And because that person that I retweeted, unbeknownst to me, was a Bioware developer that had previously worked with Melissa Janovitz. I think that was the tipping point that pushed them over the edge and gave them a reason to suspend me, even though I had no fucking idea who it was. It was just a bloody quick retweet. The joke had nothing to do with that person coming out. If it did, I would have mentioned the fact they were coming out as a skunk. I didn't even mention it. I didn't even tag them. Why? I didn't even know. And even if I did, I wouldn't have made a joke about it. Because frankly, I don't give a fuck about it. Personally, I think if you come out as an animal, I think you're a bit fucking batshit crazy. I'll be honest with you. Now, is that offensive? Is that is, is that something to ban me over forever? Over a franchise of a video game? Absolutely not. I'll tell you why. Because the Twitch council... The Twitch council had a person come out as a deer and would act as a deer their whole life. And every single big streamer all agreed this was fucking insane shit. They all weren't banned from playing games because it's kind of a thing, right? It's kind of accepted that you probably aren't an animal. You're a human being, right? You can be gay, lesbian, bi, whatever. You can have a no gender but to be a, an actual animal is a little bit different. And as an update, as a bombshell to end this video on, the person is no longer a raccoon or a skunk, sorry. They are now a sexy shark. That's right. If you want to look up their profile, they are a sexy shark, which has a link to a paid Patreon version, which you can unlock, which is a shark. It must be, if it's not safe work, either a shark with tits a shark with a shark vagina or a shark cock or a human cock or a human vagina and arse. Some, some not safe for work shark is what they now are. And they are no longer a cast iron pansexual furry. They are just a pansexual furry. So I don't know where the cast iron part went or what that means. But the point is, that's the person I got suspended over. That person ain't rationally thinking, right? If they're now a sexy shark. And I'll tell you why they're not rationally thinking. Because these are all facts you can go and fact check if you want to look up. They are on their account now promoting um, a sexy shark post page. And this sexy shark post page promotes people that go out in the real world as dogs. They go out as dogs and they get a little dog tag that says, I am COVID vaccinated and they bark and they they tell people they are dogs and somebody responded and said hey no offense but i i'm trying to be a furry but i don't think i'd have the confidence to to do that and go out in public do, is that something you actually do and their response was i walk on all fours i bark i am a dog woof woof that was the response and i'm sorry but if you want to like originally i didn't know about this person right and i had no thoughts or feelings about them i didn't even know who they were but now yeah i'll say fucking lunatic right i'll say it because it's true right that's that's not normal behavior a normal person isn't a human being that transitions into multiple different animals and then promotes porn animal stuff that's that to me with my worldview and my world experience which you can't take away from me that to me isn't normal now, if you want to suspend me from a franchise from a video game for that then i'll take it but the reality is there was nothing to suspend me over the game is dog shit anyway it's fucking failing look gears of war 6 might come out and be brilliant but i'm not fucking playing it i'm i'm 
like I say, I'm teetotal with the Gears of War franchise. I, I really am. That's too much. That's too much for a person to handle that. I can't look at all that. Not to mention the bloody stupid community arguing with each other, having big drama about a clan that's got 300 views in five years. Like, concentrate on making some fucking content, mate. Hey, let's end the video with a... Let's end the video with a fucking... With a good one, shall we? Look, this is the state of content. So if you ever wonder um, why I was suspended, when I was getting 5 to 10k views on each video, basically shitting on the game and trying to help them fix it. Like, I wasn't shitting on the game, but in their eyes, I was. And these are the, the big ones. 400, 1 1.9, 3 3.7, 300, 100, 100, 160, 9, 0, 50, 100, 10, 4, this is 11k. You want to know why this one's 11k? Because this guy's got 140k Gears subscribers and hasn't posted about Gears 5 until basically four months. So very sporadically, he uploads, right? You've got um, 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 13, 1, 2, 6, 20, 0, um, spark cl which i think is actually a really big channel um that's the big one and it's probably big because it's got the word gears or six in the title so that's not really a gears five video is it Th they've all got no views so when you had somebody like me that was raking in at, at some videos 50k 30k 20k like i was getting dev stream reviews with 20k right they don't like that and they didn't like that. Now, I personally think I'm a very, very small channel. I'm not deluded. I personally think I'm a very, very small, ignorable, small, tiny channel that any large dev team would maybe have a quick glance at, take some feedback on board and then just fucking ignore. Because I was quite a large voice in the community, they took it really fucking personally, even though it was never personal. It was just about the game and they hunted for a reason to ban me. Um, you can see we're just scrolling. There's, you know, there's there's no views. There's there's no scene. There's nothing, man. Yeah, I think I've got Matt Adrenaline, one of the only people to recently to be partnered for playing Gears of War. He said he's not really enjoying it, kind of done with it, and he's looking for new adventures. Fair play to him. Hope it goes well, Matt. Um, I respect the grind, and I like your content. But fuck me, like you know, I know I've spoke on this before. I ain't giving them any more of my channel. They they. they they don't deserve my platform. My platform might be small, but in the Gears of War scene, it's it's a mediocre sized platform, and I ain't giving it to them. They can they can make a better game. They can make a better game, and they can get people talking about their game for the right reasons because they've made a bloody good game. I don't want to be making videos because I'm I'm lagging and slipping through the floor or my rank's been reset, or there's a bug where I'm stuck in silver and it won't level up, and the developers don't know how to fix the ELO system, or the shotgun is curving through walls and bullets are going through walls. All of this shit is going on, right? These are just facts that have happened. I'm reaction shotting out my arse, and the reaction shot's been fixed, but it hasn't really, and we're slowing down movement, and we're speeding up movement, and we're changing the shotgun, and it's got poke, and it's not got poke, and we've got lancers, and now we don't have lancers, and now we've got flashbangs, and now we don't have flashbangs, and now flashbangs are coming back in. Now we've got escalation. Now we don't. Now we've got a tweet tweaked escalation we're not starting the game we're not launching the game with es with execution but hey nick Merckx wants execution in the game so let's put execution back in the game oh shit execution's fucked let's put a flag inside of execution and call it execution 2.0 and remove execution rules see that's the game boys that's the game and they want to silence me they want to silence me well they ain't silencing me I'm silencing my fucking self because I'm totally fucking sick of talking about this dog shite game.